Hi, welcome to another edition of Only in Illinois, the weekly video recap from Reboot Illinois. I'm Madeline Dubeck. And I'm Matt Dietrich. And this week we want to talk to you about some doors. Not the doors. <laughs> Just some doors. Uh, some copper-coated doors on the state capitol. Uh, sets, two double doors, three sets of them, is that correct? Three sets of double doors. And this actually started with a column uh, from one of your former colleagues at That's the Springfield right. State Journal Register? My former colleague Dave Bakke, uh, he's a, one of the best columnists in the state and one of the ways that he gets his column ideas is by going to small town coffee shops and asking what's going on and he happened to be in a small town coffee shop in Carlinville, Illinois, which is about 40 miles south of Springfield. And he overheard some people talking about these doors on the state capitol, which by the way is under a massive renovation right now, some much needed renovations to the Capitol. But the people at uh, this particular table were talking about these doors costing $200,000. And Dave thought, there's no way that can be true. So he started asking about it. Lo and behold, it was true. But it wasn't easy for him to track down. And uh, that's one of the things that made his column so interesting was it took him a long time to get to the bottom of it because this was not a thing that was itemized in the, uh, in the renovation report and the renovation costs. So uh, I think that the, the interesting thing about this is had he not happened to overhear this conversation at this coffee shop, we probably never would have known about it. Yeah. And probably a lot of, I would guess, I haven't asked anybody, but I would guess a lot of state legislators who probably approved the budget for this project don't even know uh, what some of the costs are. And, Correct. And that's, you know, we don't have the best, uh, most transparent budgeting system in Illinois, and so that's one of the things that we all need to start paying more attention to. Um, so the total tab for these doors was almost $700,000. Right. Uh, Dave Bakke, a great line at the end of his column, kind of pointed out, you know, one set of these doors is worth more than my entire house. Yes. Uh, which was a great line, I thought. And, and I think it's important that you have to point out that $700,000 on the scale of what Illinois is facing sure. in a $100 billion pension problem in, uh, you know, $5 billion in unpaid bills, $700,000. That's a drop in the bucket. It's nothing really, and and it was part of a, you know, a, a, a rehab pro a project that was tens of millions of dollars, um, but it just kind of irks taxpayers when things like this just kind of get tossed in there. It's emblematic of a bigger problem, and eventually those kinds of dollars add up. And there's also been talk uh, since his original column of. 300 pound chandeliers that we still don't know the price tag of uh, and some pretty fancy statues being uh, put up on the pedestals or the, the railings of the grand staircase in the Capitol building and uh, when you, as you pointed out, when you have five billion in bills to pay and a hundred billion in pension debt, little things like this just aggravate. They drive people crazy. Yeah. So we're tuned into that, and you should be too. We all need to keep paying attention and demanding better from our state government. That's what we're all about at Reboot Illinois. That's it for this week. We'll catch you on the next edition of Only in Illinois.